need money to build your flying bike? Crowdfunding to the rescue. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest crowdfunding projects. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do and who I do, but this is a really unique opportunity to break ground in the adult industry. For this list, we're taking a look at the strangest, most inventive, and most impractical ideas that have ever been proposed on a crowdfunding website so far. We wanted the pool to be for everybody. So there are literally four different pools stuck together in the shape of a plus. One pool for lounging, one pool for children, one pool for laps, sports. Whether they were successful or not doesn't matter. We're just looking for the most bizarre and memorable projects. So it's for gamers like myself. So I wouldn't say that I'm a social, casual gamer that plays Farmville. I mean, I like sophisticated experience. Number 10, Grilled Cheeses. According to the Bible, back in the day, Jesus managed to feed 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Now, every panini or toast-based snack you eat can be blessed with the spirit and the face of the Son of God. So I thought, wouldn't it be great if we made a sandwich maker that put the face of Jesus on the bread and called it the, the grilled, grilled cheeses. cheeses. This Kickstarter project is based around a relatively simple sandwich press that required a modest $25,000 to bring into production. The only new ingredient it really brings to the table, however, is Jesus' face imprinted on your bread slices. But it's all in the hopes of bringing some joy to family, friends, or even your church group. How does the final product taste heavenly? And when I pulled the sandwich out, I saw the face of God. Literally. I had made a grilled cheeses. Number nine, bug assault. And I'm the inventor of the bug assault. Let me show you how it works. Never has getting rid of insects seemed so badass. This fly killing weapon works as a miniature shotgun to humanely dispose of small pests around the home. And it leaves only a small pile of table salt and the intact carcass of the multi-legged or winged home invader in its path. After its crowdfunding success, this insect eradication device has spawned a selection of other products to supplement your household hunt for various insect enemies. Honestly, we're bugging out. Pity the fly. Number eight, TARDIS in orbit. We are taking a TARDIS and we are going to put it into the payload bay of an actual commercial rocket. Loyal fans' dreams were turned into reality, sorta, when they were given the opportunity to send a replica of Doctor Who's wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey spaceship into low Earth orbit. But actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Although the project has hit a number of snags and has still yet to launch, it remains an incredibly ambitious idea to get the TARDIS as far out of the atmosphere as the International Space Station. Depending on how much you pledge, you could have your name and a personalized message saved to the hard drive of the replica. And just think about it, this artifact will likely last long after you leave this Earth. Blink and you're dead. However, the project got going in 2013, and as of early 2016, the Kickstarter site for the campaign hadn't been updated in a while. So we may have to achieve immortality another way. What's there? The earliest estimate of the singularity, when man will be able to transfer his consciousness into machines and achieve immortality. Number seven, Star Citizen. This space simulation video game originally asked for just $500,000 during its campaign, but as of early 2016, it has sourced over $100 million. But I don't want to build any old game. I want to build a universe. I want to build a game I always wanted to build, but I didn't have the tools to do until now. As more and more money is thrown into its production, the expectations rise for the project, which promises to deliver a galactic experience on a scale that has never before been created. I want to be able to share this experience with my friends and fight against real opponents in space, not just AI. And I want this to be as good or better than any other game out there. It's claimed that you will receive almost unlimited freedom to determine the direction of your adventure as you transition between first-person space combat and fighting and detailed mining and trading systems. While the alpha release of the first module of gameplay was promising, the full game has lots of promises to fulfill. Scanning. Bogey. 
Forward proximity alert. Landing mode engaged. Proximity alert. Landing request approved. Number six, Greek bailout fund. In an admirable humanitarian effort to aid the struggling nation of Greece, nearly 2 million euros were donated towards a goal of 1.6 billion euros on Indiegogo. Although the Greek bailout fund failed in its goal, with the 2 million euros constituting 0% of the total required, a second project called the Greek Crowdfund was started that did not require the refund of any money committed. This second campaign raised close to 300,000 euros to help charities in Greece secure jobs for citizens of the country. They are closed, 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 left, right. You can see plenty of them. None of them were closed before the crisis. The problems in Greece persist today, but these campaigns perfectly demonstrate the impact people can have when they come together to help others. Maybe things have to get far worse before they get better. Number five, plus pool, the floating swimming pool in New York. The island of Manhattan is surrounded by water on all sides, but we can't swim in it. And Plus Pool will allow that to happen cleanly, but safely. On the surface, this may seem like a novel idea for a tourist attraction, but its benefits reach beyond that. It could also be crucial for cleaning the waters around the Big Apple. And so the hope is that it actually gets people thinking about, yes, this is water, yes, we should be able to swim in it. Plus Pool acts as a giant filtration system to sterilize the liquid around you to make a totally safe pool that's available to all sorts of different swimmers. The filtration is the different part, which is layers of different types of material. And all they're really doing is taking out smaller and smaller contaminants. Your little contribution can buy you a tile that will go towards building the pool, while your name will forever be part of incredibly important scientific research that will hopefully significantly improve the environment of the city. It's shaped like a plus because we wanted the pool to be for everybody. Number four, solar roadways. Solar freaking roadway. Over $2 million has been sourced for a plan that, if put into place, could light up and heat roads to create a far safer experience for motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians. Even though there have been a number of claims from backers that the whole idea is a scam. After like one minute of critical thinking, I thought, hang on, nah, this just doesn't sound right. These solar panel roadways have gained interest from councils and road authorities convinced by the legitimacy of the project. If the engineering kinks can be worked out, this could be the beginning of a whole new era of eco-friendly energy that has the potential to power the world. Every panel has a series of LED lights on the circuit board that can be programmed to make landscape designs, warning signs, parking lot configurations, whatever. Number three, realize Minas Tirith. You can already walk around the Hobbiton Village movie set, but how would you like to live and work in the capital of the Kingdom of Gondor? Minas Tirith, City of Kings. That's what a group of architects were proposing to build for a small fee of 1.85 billion pounds, or approximately 2.9 billion dollars. The rule of Gondor is mine, and no others. Perhaps understandably, the campaign came nowhere close to its goal, though it did raise over 85,000 pounds, which means your dream of becoming a lord or lady of Minas Tirith will likely never be realized. I didn't think it would end this way. Though the people behind the project fully admitted that it had, quote, virtually no chance of succeeding, had realized Minas Tirith reached its gargantuan target, it surely could have been a fully functioning tourist attraction and home to hundreds of Middle Earth enthusiasts everywhere. Number two, Pornhub Space Program, Sexploration. One of the biggest porn sites on the web, Pornhub has been surprisingly active in diversifying their business. They've run a breast cancer awareness campaign and even initiated a program that will see over 15,000 trees planted. This particular project, however, would not only have been the first ever sex tape shot in space, but also claimed to be valuable to science to assess how certain appendages operate in zero gravity. It sadly fell well short of its $3.4 million target, but we still expect to see much more from the adult site in the future. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hero project for now, without a doubt, is Lionel Richie's head. It was a big break. We raised the money on Kickstarter. We actually raised over 8,000 pounds on Kickstarter to build a giant inflatable sculpture of Lionel Richie's head. And that was my third campaign now uh, after Poster 2 failed, after Indiegogo for Rampage 3 failed, and now Kickstarter failed too. 
And uh, basically my message is f yourself. And I'm big time. Some ancient freaks got delusions of grandeur. Looks like Shaq Daddy's gonna have to whoop some ass. Number one, potato salad. A mere 10 bucks was the asking price to create a modest potato salad through Kickstarter. But it snowballed into a viral sensation that included a potato salad party, recipe book, and of course the aforementioned salad. I want to do the most good that I can do with this. A similar project involving a chicken burrito saw one man make enough cash to graph how delicious it is to eat the Mexican treat while skydiving. The potato salad still eclipsed that in terms of money made, earning over $55,000. So it stands as the ultimate joke-turned-crowdfunding success story. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I could never have done this without you and your support. Do you agree with our list? Which bizarre crowdfunding ideas did you throw your money towards? For more weird and wonderful top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Love recycling? Solar roadway. Hate winter driving? Solar roadways. Hate shoveling snow? Solar roadway. Love clean air? Solar roadway. Need a job? Solar roadways.